Hello, friends. Today we are again going to discuss Art of Listening Part 3. In this episode, we are discussing the active listening techniques. Master active listening techniques. What are those? Mastering active listening techniques can greatly enhance your communication skills and relationships. Here are some key strategies to become an active listener. Number one, give your full attention. Focus on the speaker. Pay attention to the speaker's words, tone, and body language. Remove distractions. Minimize interruptions and distractions to maintain focus. Maintain eye contact with the speaker. Show that you are engaged and inter interested in what the speaker is saying. Number two, show that you are listening. Use non-verbal cues, nodding, smiling, and using facial expressions to show understanding and encouragement. Mirroring, reflect the speaker's body language and expressions in to convey the empathy and connection. Number three, paraphrase and summarize. Repeat back, paraphrase what the speaker has said in your own words to confirm the understanding. Summarize, or kindly summarize the main points of the conversation to ensure clarity and alignment. Number four, ask clarifying questions. Seek understanding. Ask open-ended questions to clarify any points that are unclear or need further explanation. Avoid assumptions. Don't assume you understand. Instead, seek confirmation from the speaker. Number five, provide feedback. Reflect feelings. Acknowledge the speaker's emotions and feelings, showing empathy and understanding. Offer encouragement. Provide positive feedback and encouragement to keep the conversation going. Number six, avoid interrupting. Wait for pauses. Allow the speaker to finish their thoughts before responding or asking questions. Respectful interruptions. If you must interrupt, do so respectfully and for clarification not to change the topic. Number seven. Practice empathy. Put yourself in their shoes. Try to understand the situation from the speaker's perspective, showing empathy and compassion. Validate feelings. Acknowledge the speaker's emotions and feelings, even if you don't agree with their perspective. Number eight, be open-minded. Suspend judgment. Avoid jumping the, to conclusions or forming opinions before fully understanding the speaker's point of view. Consider different perspectives. Be open to hearing different opinions and viewpoints, even if they differ from your own. Nine, reflect on your listening skills. Self-reflection. Regularly ref reflect on your listening skills and identify areas for 
further improvement. Feedback. Seek feedback from others on your listening skills and adjust accordingly. Number 10. Practice regular, regularly. Daily practice. Practice active listening in your daily conversations to hone your skills. Role playing. Engage in role playing exercises to simulate different listening scenarios and improve your responses. Conclusion. Active listening is a skill that can be developed and mastered with practice and commitment. By incorporating these techniques into your interactions, you can become a more effective communicator, build stronger relationships, and enhance your overall communication skills. Practice empathetic listening. Practicing empathetic listening involves not only hearing the words someone is saying, but also trying to understand their emotions and perspectives. Here are some key steps to practice empathetic listening. Number one, focus on the speaker. Give your full attention. Show that you are fully present and interested in what the speaker is saying. Maintain eye contact. Establish a connection and convey your attentiveness through eye contact. Avoid distractions. Minimize interruptions and distractions to stay focused on the speaker. Listen without judgment. Suspend judgment. Avoid forming opinions or jumping to conclusions while listening. Be open-minded. Accept the speaker's perspective without criticism or bias. Number three. <coughs> Acknowledge emotions. Recognize and validate the speaker's emotions even if you don't Agree with their perspectives. Use reflective statements. Reflect back the speaker's emotions to show understanding that is, it sounds like you are feeling. Show empathy is number four. Put yourself in their shoes. Try to understand the situation from the speaker's perspective. Express empathy. Show that you understand and care about the speaker's feelings. That is, I can imagine how difficult that must be for you. Number five, ask clarifying questions. Seek understanding. Ask questions to clarify any points that are unclear or need further explanation. Avoid assumptions. Don't assume you understand. Instead, seek Clarification from the speaker. Number six, provide support. Offer encouragement. Provide positive feedback and encouragement to show your support. Avoid solutions. Focus on listening and understanding rather than offering immediate solution or advice. Number seven, respond appropriately. Validate their experience. Acknowledge the speaker's experience as valid and important. Offer reassurance. Provide reassurance and comfort when appropriate. That is, it is okay to feel that way. Number eight, practice active listening. Paraphrase and summarize. Repeat back what the speaker has said in your own words to confirm understanding. Use non-verbal cues. Use nodding, facial expression, and other non-verbal cues to show that you are actively 
listening to the speaker. Number nine, show genuine interest. Ask follow-up questions. Show curiously and interest in the speaker's story by asking follow-up questions. Engage emotionally. Respond emotionally to the speaker's story to show that you are invested in their experience. Number 10, be patient and understanding. Allow for silence. Sometimes silence can be a powerful tool in empathetic listening, allowing the speaker to collect their thoughts. Be patient. Give the speaker time to express themselves fully without rushing them. In conclusion, practicing empathetic listening involves listening with an open heart and mind, showing understanding and compassion for the speaker's emotions and experiences. By developing your empathetic listening skills, you can strengthen your relationships, improve communications, and create a more supportive and empathetic environment. Listening in different contexts, personal, professional, etc. Adapt listening skills to different contexts. Adapting listening skills to different contexts involves recognizing the unique requirement and expectations of each situation. Here are some ways to adapt your listening skills to different contexts. Number one, personal conversations. Focus on the relationship. Listen empathetically to understand the other person's feelings and strengthen the relationships. Use reflective listening. Paraphrase and summarize to show that you are actively engaged and understanding their perspective. Provide emotional support. Acknowledge their emotions and offer support and encouragement. Number two, professional settings. Focus on the message. Listen for information and details relevant to the task or project at hand. Use active listening techniques. Maintain eye contact, nod, and provide feedback to show your engagement. Ask clarifying questions. Seek clarification to ensure you understand the speaker's intentions and expectations. Number three, group discussions. Practice active participation. Listen attentively and contribute to the discussion when appropriate. Balance speaking and listening. Allow others to speak while ensuring your voice is also heard. Respect others', others perspectives. Acknowledge and consider different viewpoints even if you disagree. Number four, educational settings. Focus on learning. Listen to understand and retain information presented by a instructors or peers. Engage actively. Participate in discussions and ask questions to deepen your understanding. Review and reflect. After listening, review your notes and reflect on the key points to info, reinforce learning. Number five, conflict resolution. Listen actively. Focus on understanding the other peer person's perspective and the underlying issues. Stay calm. Manage your emotions and avoid reacting defensively. Seek common ground. Look for areas of agreement and work towards a mutually beneficial resolution. A, number six, customer service. Listen to understand needs. Listen attentively to customer concerns and requests. Empathize and validate. 
acknowledge the customers feelings and validate their experience offer solutions provide helpful solutions or alternative based on the customers needs number 7 public speaking listen to audience feedback pay attention to audience reactions and adjust your message accordingly adapt to audience needs tailor your speech to me meet the needs and interests of your audience be open to questions encourage questions and feedback to engage the audience and address their concerns number 8 virtual communication use technology effectively ensure good audio and video quality to facilitate clear communications be mindful of distractions minimize distractions and interruptions to maintain focus practice active listening use visual cues and verbal affirmations to show your engagement in virtual conversations conclusion adapting your listening skills to different contexts require flexibility empathy and an understanding of the specific demands of each situation by honing your listening skills and adjusting them to suit various contexts you can improve your communication effectiveness and build stronger relationships in personal professional and social settings understand cultural differences in listening understanding cultural differences in listening is crucial for effective cross cultural communication different cultures may have varying norms values and expectations regarding listening behavior here are some key cultural differences to consider number 1 verbal and non verbal cues direct versus indirect communication some cultures values direct and explicit communication while others prefer indirect and nuanced expressions non verbal communication the importance of non verbal cues such as eye contact gestures and facial expressions various varies among cultures number 2 listening styles active versus passive listening cultures may differ in their preference for active engagement in conversations versus more passive listening styles listening hierarchy some cultures prioritize listening to authority figures or elders while others value egalitarian listening practices number 3 feedback and response frequency of feedback cultures may vary in how frequently and directly they provide feedback during conversations politeness norms the way feedback is delivered including the use of politeness strategies can differ across cultures number 4 context and silence use of silence the meaning of silence in conversations can vary widely among cultures ranging from comf comfortable pauses to awkwardness or disagreement contextual understanding cultural context influences how listeners interpret messages and understand the underlying meaning number 5 listening goals task oriented versus versus relationship oriented some cultures prioritize achieving specific goals or outcomes in conversations while others focus more on building relationships number 6 cultural norms and values collectivism versus individualism cultures that mf emphasize collective collectivism may prioritize group harmony and consensus in communication 
affecting listening behavior, hierarchy and power dynamics, cultural attitudes toward hierarchy and power can influence how listeners perceive and respond to messages. Number seven, response styles. Directness of response. Cultures may vary in how directly or indirectly they respond to messages, especially in situations of disagreement, disagreement or conflict. Emotional expression. Cultural norms regarding the expression of emotions can affect how listeners interpret and respond to emotional cues. Number eight, listening in social contexts. Group versus individual listening. Cultural norms regarding group participation and individual contribution can influence listening behavior in social settings. Role of silence. In some cultures, silence is valued as a sign of respect or attentiveness, while in others it may be perceived as disinterest or disagreement. Conclusion. By understanding and respecting cultural differences in listening, individuals can enhance their cross-cultural communication skills and avoid misunderstandings. Being aware of these differences allows for more effective communication and fosters mutual respect and understanding active cultures. Thank you very much. That's all in this episode. If you like this video, please share and subscribe the channel you love. Thank you very much.